Hello everyone, you are welcome to how to solve this very nice algebra equation x to the power 5 plus x over x to the power 4 plus x squared is equal to 7 over 3. Our job is to find all possible values of x. So let's start. From the numerator we can factor out x. x as common factor and in bracket left x to the power 4 plus 1 divided by from the denominator we factor out x and in bracket left x cubed plus x is equal to 7 over 3. This x will be cancelled out with this x. This equation will become x to the power 4 plus 1 divided by x cubed plus x is equal to 7 over 3. Now we divide the numerator and the denominator by x squared. x to the power 4 plus 1 divided by x squared divided by x cubed plus x divided by x squared is equal to 7 over 3. Now this expression in the numerator can be written as x to the power 4 over x squared plus 1 over x squared divided by this expression in the denominator can be written as x cubed over x squared plus x over x squared is equal to 7 over 3. Now this x to the power 4 divided by x squared will become x squared plus this 1 over x squared divided by this x cubed over x squared will become x plus this x over x squared will become 1 over x is equal to 7 over 3. Now by using this algebraic identity a squared plus b squared is equal to a plus b whole squared minus 2ab. This x squared plus 1 over x squared will become x plus 1 over x whole squared minus 2 times x times 1 over x divided by this x plus 1 over x is equal to 7 over 3. Now this x will be cancelled out with this x. This equation will become x plus 1 over x whole squared minus 2 divided by x plus 1 over x is equal to 7 over 3. Now we suppose that let x plus 1 over x is equal to m. So this equation will become m squared minus 2 divided by m is equal to 7 over 3. And we use cross multiplication. We multiply this 3 by this expression and we multiply this 7 by this expression. So this will become 3 times m squared minus 2 is equal to 7 times m. This is 3 times m squared will become 3m squared. 3 times negative 2, negative 6 is equal to 7m. Now we move this 7m to the left hand side. Then this will become 3m squared minus 7 times m minus 6 is equal to 0. And this quadratic equation is factorable. We write this 3m squared, 3m squared. And we split this negative 7m as a negative 9 times m plus 2 times m minus 6 is equal to 0. From these two terms, we can factor out 3 times 
in bracket left m minus 3 from these two terms we can factor out plus 2 in bracket left m minus 3 is equal to 0 now this m minus 3 this m minus 3 is common so we factor out this m minus 3 and in bracket left this 3m and this plus 2 in bracket left 3 times m plus 2 is equal to 0 from here either this expression m minus 3 is equal to 0 or this expression 3 times m plus 2 is equal to 0 from this equation we get the value of m is equal to 3 and uh, from this equation we get the value of m is equal to negative 2 divided by 3 now recall that we have supposed we have supposed that x plus 1 over x is equal to m. We have supposed that x plus 1 over x is equal to m. So, when m is equal to 3, then this equation will become x plus 1 over x is equal to 3. And we can write the denominator of this x1 and we take LCM of this one and this x. LCM is x, x divided by 1 is x, so x times this x, x squared plus x divided by x is 1, 1 times this one, 1 is equal to 3. And if we multiply both sides by x, this implies that x squared plus 1 is equal to 3 times x. Now, we move this 3x to the left hand side, then this will become x squared minus 3x plus 1 is equal to 0. And this quadratic equation is not factorable, so we solve it by quadratic formula. According to quadratic formula, x is equal to negative times negative 3 plus or minus square root of in place of b squared we write negative 3 squared minus 4 times a is 1 times c is 1 divided by 2 times a is 1 next x is equal to negative times negative 3 will become positive 3 plus or minus square root of this in negative 3 squared is 9 minus 4 times 1 times 1, 4, divided by 2 times 1, 2. Next, x is equal to 3 plus minus square root of 9 minus 4, 5, divided by 2. So, from here we get two values of x. x1 is equal to 3 plus root 5 over 2 and x2 is equal to 3 minus root 5 over 2. Now, when m is equal to this value, then this equation will become x plus 1 over x is equal to negative 2 over 3. We can write the denominator 1 and we take LCM. LCM is x x divided by 1 is x, x times this x, x squared plus x divided by x is 1, 1 times this one, 1 is equal to negative 2 over 3. And we use cross multiplication, we multiply this 3 by this expression and this negative 2 by this x. So, this will become 3 times x squared plus 1 is equal to negative 2 times x. x 3 times x squared 3 x squared 3 times 1 plus 3 is equal to negative 2 x. We move this uh, negative 2 x to the left hand side then this equation will become 3 x squared plus 2 times x plus 3 is equal to 0. 
and according to quadratic formula x is equal to negative 2 plus minus square root of in place of b squared we write 2 squared minus 4 times a is 3 times c is 3 divided by 2 times a is 3 x x is equal to negative 2 plus minus square root of this 2 squared will become 4 negative 4 times 3 times 3 negative 36 divided by 2 times 3 6 now this 4 minus 36 will become negative 32 this negative 32 can be written as a negative 32 can be written as a 16 times 2 times negative 1 then this will become x is equal to negative 2 plus minus uh, square root of 16 is 4 times root 2 this uh, square root of negative 1 will become i divided by 6 2 3 times 2 1 time and 2 2 times 4 so from here we get uh, other two values of x x 3 is equal to negative 1 plus 2 times root 2 i divided by 3 and uh, x 4 is equal to negative 1 minus 2 times uh, root 2 i divided by 3. So, these are the four solutions of uh, this equation.